Right, so we're going to do Derush Hay, Lamed Hay, let's see, Perek Lamed Hay, Pasuch of Zayin. Yeah, Shilishi. Mm-hmm. Shilishi. Okay, so the Pasuch says, Vehanesiim Heviu. Right, and if you notice, there's no Yud in the word Vehanesiim. If you look at the Pasuch, where are we? Kav Zayin? Yeah. Vehanesiim, right? Heviu et avnei Ashoha, veet avnei Miluim, leifo velahoshem. It's short. Right. So, Amara binatan, Mara u nesiim lehit nadeh b'hanukata mezbeat tehila. Why? So the binatan opens up and says, Why? What did the nesiim do? Realize that made them give donate in the beginning of the mezbeach, but didn't do that when it came to the mishkan. Mezbeach came after. So all, the, all of a sudden they come now, and when it comes to hanukata mezbeach, they're donating. But when it comes to the mishkan in the beginning of the parasha, right? Vayakel, vayakel starts with talking about Shabbat. And then go straight into, you know, Lehit uh, Nadev. Get all the money together so we can build the Mishkan. So Rabbi Natan says, what, what did they see that there was a difference? They, they made a mistake and they said, by they came to the Mishkan, they said, let the people donate what they're going to donate and whatever's missing will fill in. That was the original thought process. And when they realized that the entire Sibur gave everything, then they're like, we got, nothing, we got nothing to offer. They were willing to top it off, but then there was nothing left. To right, so what, what did they bring? They brought the Avne Shoham. The Avne Shoham was from the, so there were certain things that could not be found in the, in the Midbar. So what did they do? They brought in, the, the Ananea Kavod brought those items. So, so they, one of the items was what? Was the Avne Shoham. And then they see you came and they brought it in. Right, so look what he says. So he says, Ulfishe nit aletsu. Because they were lazy in the beginning, the ot yud was taken from their name. Right? This is what the Midrash explains, what, um, what uh, this is Rabbi Natan in the Midrash. So he's saying, what, what, why, did they, why is the yud missing? Because they're the ones that said, we'll wait till the end. Why the wait till the end? Because they said, let the people fill in everything and we'll just we'll handle the rest. The people filled in everything already. There was nothing else to be filled. So they say, they start scrounging. They say, what are we going to bring? We'll bring the Avnei Shoham. Why the Avnei Shoham? Because that was brought by Avnei Kavod. So because they were lazy from the beginning, they said, let the people do first, then after we'll come and save the day. And because there was nothing left, the, the Yud, the letter Yud, was taken from their name. Okay? To show that they were, that they were, that they were lazy. So Zerah Shimshon has two questions. The first is, what type of punishment is this that the Yud is missing from their name? I mean, it's not like it's from the, it's uh, the Nesim. It's not even individual names. It's uh, the word Nesim. The you know Nesim is what the how do you want to translate Nesim? The heads, the Nasi of each. What's it called? It's called the princes, but they're, 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 they're... So call it whatever. The yeah the 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 heads, the leaders of each tribe. And also we know that God does Mida Kineg Mida. Where is Mida Kineg Mida over here? That doesn't make any sense. So again, two questions. First is, well, how is this a punishment? Right. And the two, and the second, well, how is this midah connect midah? Okay. And we brought the Arizal. He brings in Shar Ma'amare Razal. He brings that when you give Sadaqah to a person, there's four words you're supposed to have in mind, which is a pasu. The Haya Ma'asea Sadaqah Shalom. That the action of this Sadaqah is peace. Meaning, I think it means you should bring peace. What is that? Because what you do, you're causing him to have peace, right? The peruta that you give to the guy. And so remember, we mentioned that it's yud ke vav ke, right? The yud is the peruta that you're actually pulling out of your pocket. The vav is the your hand, your arm. And then you have two hays in there. I'm not sure. I, I couldn't look it up. What's the hay part? Two fingers. Oh, the five oh, hands. Ah, oh, yeah, the five fingers in the hand yeah, yeah. from my hand to his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. So that's mida kine mida. Right? That's the words. That what that the peruta that you're giving to the ani is is alluding to the yud in the name of Hashem, and here they didn't bring anything, so therefore the yud's gone. The yud represents the sedaka, the peruta that's in your pocket. The 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 nesim didn't bring anything, so because they were slow to donate. Therefore, that's why the you. That's why we, we said, how is this a punishment? How is this midah kineg midah? So we're showing you that it is midah kineg midah because the yud represents the peruta. It means the, it represents the money that you're going to give to somebody. Remember the the, the vav is the hand is the arm, so what, the outstretched arm. So now they don't have any. 
Uh, so be, to show you that the what they do, should have done, they didn't do. They should have gave. They should have gave. Why the yud? What's so important about the yud? So he's explaining the yud represents peruta of sedaka of uh, money, and because you're not giving, you're not giving any money. So the the yud the vav was taken away from the name. That's the yud. The yud. So now he's gonna give you a crazy one. Now derech ahead. The Zohar Kadosh says that the mishkan is the remez to olam hazeh and olam haba. Right? So I looked it up. I couldn't really find the exact words. And it, the, the, I looked in both sources, in the art scroll and in, Rabbi, in the blue one. I still didn't find it. But maybe I have to look at it again. It says, Kia mishkan hu remez le olam haze u olam haba. Right? The hem, she lo eviu nid vatam tehilal im lechet mishkan. And the nesiim that didn't bring the nedava first to the mishkan. What did they do? They made, they made, they, they wronged the mishkan. And what does that mean you wronged the mishkan? You have Mishkan, Olama Zen, Olama Ba, which means you wronged the both of them. Like, like the Gemara Menachot, Yud and Hay. The Gemara Menachot says, Aze, Olama Ba. And how do we know? Because we have a word, right? Shemayim uh, Ba'ad, Behi Bare'am. What? It says, Behe Bare'am. Right. Behe, very good. How do you remember that? Very good. No, that's good. I, looked at, I had to look it up. Great. Oh, I like it when you remember things. I like it when I remember things too. <laughs> I wish it happened more often. So, but by the way, so again, so they they messed up by not bringing the 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 sedaka to you know to, to be to the donations first. So Hashem Let me removes sh- that his his yud, which is uh, part of his name, from their name. Why? Because, because the melech. No, one second, one second. Because the mishkan represent olam azeh and olam abba, which means they wronged. Olam Azeh and Olam Abba, oh, and which was created with the letter, the name of God, the letter of the name of God in Yud and Hey. Mm-hmm. Hey is Olam Azeh, Yud is Olam Abba. Very nice. And what we, we have a we have a klal in in, in the, the Gemara and Kitavot. If let's say a guy does two uh, does something, where he does two different things wrong. First one. Not on the first one, the more Hamud one. He gets punished on the more Hamud one. He gets punished on whatever. So and but we don't give him both. So it says in the Gemara, Kederi Ahat Ata Mehayevo. The guy does one thing bad, he Mehayev, no problem. Al Keni Dono Kehomra. Right? Vi Ata Mehayevo Mishum Shte Rish Ayot. But if he's going to be, he's Mehayev on two bad things that he did, right? We give him the harsher punishment. And the Yud, the Yud is the Remez of Olam Abba. So therefore, the yud is gone. If you look at the word vehanesim, you have the hay in there also. Yeah, he says here that they would, it would have been fitting to take away the yud the, and, and the hay and the hay. But right. The yud is the more hamur, so it, it took it away. Right. Shehi hamura. So therefore, right, because the gemara and kitubot says you don't take, you, you don't give the guy both punishments. You give him the the harsher one. So the yud is more hamur than the hay because the yud is olam abba, and the hay is olam azeh. So therefore, because of that, that's why we didn't take both. That really, they were worthy of taking both. And so therefore, we only take one. Good? Yeah. Inami, Yisrael, B'nai said, what do we do? We brought everything. Heviu mamunam. We brought, which, what's the mamunam? The mamunam is, is, is here in Olam Hazeh. La sota mishkan, sehu siman de Olam Abba. To make, to help make the mishkan, which is the siman of Olam Abba. How do you acquire Olam Abba? By giving korbanot, right? Avodah. Working hard. That's also true. Working hard. Omnam, the Nesi'im, what did they bring? They brought the Avnei Shoham. Shebao lahem derech nes. Right? Because the Gemaran Yoma, Ayin He Amud Aleph, explained that the, that the Nesi'im brought the Avnei Shoham. And where did they bring it from? The Anei Kabod that brought everything that was left. Right? Which was what? Well, it's not how it work. The Mamon that they brought, right, is Mamon of Olam Abba. It wasn't from this world. It was from the next world. It was not from here. And in order, and in order that we should know that their nedava that they gave, even though it's the Avnei Shoham, which is very important for the Ephod and the Hoshin, right? Even though that, to make sure that they know that the world knows that the, the donations of Bnei Israel are stronger and more valuable than the donation of the Nesiim, because they just got it from Ani Akavod that we gave it from Astav, mm-hmm. the Yud was taken away. To say what? It's not such a great zechut that they get from it. They didn't bring anything. They were just a broker. They took it from this guy and gave it to the next guy. The yud, the yud, who So why dafka the yud? Because the yud represents olam the next world. Where did the avnei shalom come from? Olam 
Where did they come from? How, what was the, 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 the channel that it got in through? Was the Anani Akavod, which the Nisim came and took. So in order for everyone to know that the donation, even though the donation was very important... It seems like it's more significant. Seems like it, but not. Right. Because they just picked it up from uh, from Reuven and gave it's, it to Betzalev. It's, it's, it's shinier, it's like from a more special place, but really... Right. What did you guys really do today? So that's the second. Right, that's the second. And the, and the stuff of us, of our stuff, was our stuff. Yeah. That's the second. Then there's a third way. Mm-hmm. Third way you can look at it. We find the Otiyot Rabbi Akiva. Now it's very beautiful that he brings over here Otiyot Rabbi Akiva. Because the Gemara Menachot that talks about the hay and the Yud, where does, it come, where does that come from? It goes into Moshe Rabbeinu going up to Shemaim, and he sees Hashem making the kots, the kots of the crowns, right? You have, you have seven letters that have, the, that have three crowns, okay? You, you understand? I'm not with you. Well, be with me. I'm with you. Good. <laughs> that, the, in this Gemara, yeah. in the Menachot, okay? It has, we bring over here Otiyot Rabbi Akiva on the bottom. We're going to say now a third reason why the youth is gone. Okay. And he's saying, where is the, where is the source of this third? But Otiyot Rabbi Akiva. And, but I'm explaining that this Otiyot Rabbi Akiva first is seen, or f- uh, first gets showcased in the Gimran Menachot. Is this where, where, where Moshe Rabbeinu sees him? The and he says, it's a not, yeah, God. Expounding Thank on, you, expounding on the, the crowns, crowns the, right, the, the tagin of the of the of the te, of the Torah of the letters, right? And he's not only doreshing, doreshing halachot from them, halachot from them. And Moshe says to Hashem, "Is there anyone else like him in all the generations?" So he goes, "No." So, so give him the Torah. So he tells him, "Shtok." The Gemara says he, he tells Moshe, Be, "Stay quiet. I have my ways. I have my ways." Then he says, okay, now you showed him the Torah that he went through. Now, sh- no, so now the Gemara says over there that he felt bad because Rabbi Akiva seemed so much higher than him and he, was, and he felt so, like, so belittled because he goes to sit in the yeshiva because he tells him, turn around. Hashem tells like a fairy tale. Hashem tells Moshe, turn around. Turns around, he's in the yeshiva of Rabbi Akiva. Yeah. He goes to the yeshiva of Rabbi Akiva. Where is he sitting? In the eighth row. Now, the way it worked is the better you were, the closer you were to the Rebbe, not further. So he was in the eighth row, it says. Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu. And Moshe Rabbeinu now, he says he doesn't understand a word they're saying. This is what it says. Where is the Gemara, it? yeah. Ka, ka, te, ta, mu, he said Moshe Rabbeinu didn't understand what was going on. Till one of them asked, and where, Rabbi Akiva, where do you know this halakha? And he says, Moshe Misinai. Moshe is like, and Moshe is like, no, Moshe is like, he, he was much more relaxed. Oh, Baruch Hashem, because I understand where I fit now. That that what he's expounding is what I expounded first, and then he's building on what I expounded, and it's all what's going. He didn't get the Torah yet. He didn't get it yet. Now he tells Hashem, show me. I now you show me the the beauty of the Torah, the one that that is Torah on the Torah. Show me the Sachad. And what does he do? He shows him how Rabbi Akiva dies. And Hashem says, and, and Moshe says, this is their Torah, this is their He gets murdered in public, it, 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 tortured to death. So what does he answer him again? He says, shtok. I have my ways. And we know what it says. It says in the Gemara, it says in the Zohar, that there's 50 levels of Bina. And Moshe Rabbeinu reached the 49th level of Bina. And the 49th level, the 50th level, is that level that he can't understand, or no one can understand what all these things mean. Where you're gonna to want to do bad to somebody good in this world? We think we understand what it means, but we have not even a clue, not even a clue. That's what emunah and bitachon is all about. You just gotta believe. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Not only believe, you gotta trust. There's you a know. difference. You know. Forget about it. There's between knowing and trusting, believing and believe. I believe that when I go home, things will be okay. No, I know when I go home, things will be okay. So now let's find the third way. The third way is again be'otot rabbi akiva. He says en yud elayad. Yud, when it says Yud, how do you spell Yud, by the way? Yud Vav Dalin. But when, whenever the, there's no Yud, Ela Yad. What does Yad mean? A hand. And the En Yad, Ela Mana. What's a Mana? It's a portion. Right? You have one Mana, two Mana, it's a portion. How do we know that Yad means Mana? Because we know from Yosef and, and uh, Binyamin, when he gives everyone a Mana, he gives Binyamin five Mana. Look at the word. It says, "Vaterev masad binyamin mi masot kulam hamesh yadot." Yadot is hand, but it's over there. So about five portions, 
he gets so that's how you know yad means mane ofishem lo heviu mane lindvat mishkan and because they didn't bring a portion to the mishkan nedera yod the yod was taken away then yod elayad because the yud is the yad and the yad refers to a portion like we learned from Yosef and Binyamin which she didn't bring so therefore the yud was taken away from them so we went we saw three reasons the first one from the Ariza was about sedaka you didn't give sedaka properly and the, the the money that you give is the is represented by the yud and Hashem's name so it's taken away that's the first reason the second reason is what brings in the zohar and teruma that says the mishkan is a rem is olam azen olam abba and now that they didn't get that's the midah right each one's midah connected to that by the way yeah. each one because you didn't give the peruta you didn't give the money so, so I took, I took take it away money. second one is the zohar the mishkan is rem is to olam azen olam abba that was to, so you so they wronged the yud in Hashem's name and the hay in Hashem's name and we know what it came to vote that says you only get the worser punishment and what's the worst of punishment? Olam azeh, olam abba, olam abba. So the yud's taken away, not the hay, which the hay is still there. And the third way we saw it, we said what? We third way we said, oh, by the way, you know, we added to that also more. We said, Bnei Yisrael brought all the money, right? And where they bring the money from? Olam azeh. Mm-hmm. They got the Abnei Shoham from where? Olam abba. How do we know? It came out in the Akavod. It seems like it's way better. It seems like it's way better, but it's not way better. Good. And the third way, and the third way we look at it, is that the, we wrote it down in Otiyot Rabbi Akiva, the, the Yud is talking about a Yad, the hand, and a hand is talking about a Mane, a portion. And we prove it because when it says that, he gave, that Yaakov, Yosef gave Binyamin five portions, it says Hamesh Yadot, five hands. Okay? And now since they didn't bring their own Mane for the Mishkan the way they should have done, the Yud was taken out. Why? Because the Yud, and Yud, El Yad. Right? Like we learned by Yosef. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen.